Hey everybody, this is Dewey in Nashville again with uh, one final update of the uh, raised bed self-irrigating planter uh, system completed, finally. Uh, so this will be the last video of this series and then I'll do updates about how well it actually works in practice once I get some things planted in there. Got to do my grid lines for my square foot gardening. But I uh, want to give you an update on the soil and how everything's holding up so far. Uh, long story short, as you can see, it hadn't fallen apart, <laughs> which is uh, a feat in and of itself when you've got me being the one to actually build it. Um, I can kind of let you know how I filled the soil because it's not exactly an easy process when you're working with this much of a medium. Uh, I used uh, a mixture, different different mixtures at each level, so it's not uniform throughout. Uh, on the bottom, I mixed in about three parts uh, peat moss, about two parts um, vermiculite, uh, coarse vermiculite, uh, one part compost, and then some, uh, you know, a couple handfuls of coffee grounds, organic fertilizer, Epsom salts, and dolomite or agricultural lime. And um, when I say one part, I'm talking about uh, one five gallon bucket. So uh, I've put that on the bottom. You've got to pack in the uh, net cups first. So I just mixed it all in the wheelbarrow here as I've, I've got all my supplies to clean up. Mix it on the wheelbarrow. I put it back in one of the buckets and kind of carried it around to each of the net pots. Packed those in really good, uh, really thick. And you can actually see once you pack them in, uh, the water coming up through them. So uh, you can tell it works that way. At least... Uh, at first so you should you should see water kind of wick up into the the soil and it'll be much more moist once you pack them in and give it a minute or two than uh, the soil that you put in so yeah, you mix all that up mix all that up in a wheelbarrow wet it down good or mix it up first then wet it down real well you're probably going to use about three or four gallons of water at least per wheelbarrow full so uh, the, I used a uh, tire ramp to kind of get it up and then dump the wheelbarrow in instead of having to shovel it once I got everything mixed. So um, so that was the first level and then as I went up I slowly added more compost to the mix and reduced the vermiculite. Um, I wanted the, the bottom vermiculite to be heavily concentrated so that it keeps everything kind of spongy and it'll help it to, to even out on the bottom and then pull it up through the medium uh, the, help it wick up through uh, as you go up. So the top layer was mostly peat moss and compost with a little bit of vermiculite mixed in and uh, some Epsom salts and um, excuse me, dolomite. Sorry, had a um, blank mind there. And the way I figure is as the mixture ages and it rains, the extra compost on the top will form kind of a compost tea and will water down through the medium. So let me kind of show you around the final version here. Uh, you can see I've trimmed off the uh, PVC pipe and capped it to keep the mosquitoes out. Leveled everything out, kind of cleaned it up. At least cleaned this side up, the one facing the road. Um, this, where I've got access to the float, I just laid some one by sixes, the same thing I used to make that chamber. I just laid that on top. And sorry if you can't hear me, the AC unit just kicked on behind me. Uh, you can see the pipe coming out the bottom. And also, I don't know if you can see here, remember I was thinking about um, adding holes in the plywood to let it drain? I don't really need to do that. It's draining all by itself uh, once it gets up to the plywood because I watered this stuff down really, really well. And um, I'll step away from the AC unit here for a sec. So I, I watered it down real well, and so all that excess water is, the, the stuff that's not absorbed is coming out the bottom, which is the way it should be. You want to get it really good and wet so that it all kind of compacts, starts the capillary action, wicking it up through the, the net pots into the soil. So uh, that'll probably be draining for a few more days, <laughs> it seems like, with all the water I put in there. Probably more like a few hours. Um, you can see my hose system here. I used a, a quick connect, so uh, I've got 
a uh, quick connect from the hose with a valve, male to female. Uh, this is a pressure reducer. Sorry about the dirt on my hands. I just got done with the soil. Um, that's an adapter to a barbed end with a uh, clamp on it. I ran the kind of the same thing with this end of the hose that I did with that end of the hose. Uh, where it, it, as I turned on the water, the pressure got too much and it just popped right off. So uh, the clamp has kept it on there. And then this is actually um, open right now, as you can see. So it's the, the float is not actually putting anything in there because it's obviously the water level is too high seeing as it is draining. But um, at, once it gets done draining on the top and the water comes up through the mixture uh, and drains that reservoir, the float should kick in and refill it as it's, the water is being used. That's a theory anyways. Uh, the next few days will tell the tale of how well this actually works. But um, that's the system, and I'll be doing updates as uh, I put plants in there. I'll show you kind of some of the ones I'm already doing. I've got some seeds started. Forgive all the mess. Uh, I haven't put everything away yet from, uh, from the tasks of the last weekend. So these are some green beans. Uh, they just sprouted two days ago, and you can see the growth in them already. Uh, I'll let you know how I do my potting mix. It's uh, one, a two-part peat moss, one part vermiculite. Uh, I do about a, a half a part of compost or composted horse manure is what I use from my friends down the road who uh, have, a, have some horses. I'll just take the droppings, mix it in. Um, and then and when I, you gotta wet the mixture, and instead of wetting the mixture with water, I just use um, compost tea, so that that kind of super infuses uh, nutrients into the potting mix, and then add a little bit of lime to offset the acidity of the peat moss, and uh, some mineral salts or Epsom salts or something. That that I didn't I don't think I added that into this potting mixture, but um, you can. Larry recommends it. Larry Hall. Uh, in his uh, potting mixture for his gutter system. So uh, so the beans are doing real well. Only two of them have sprouted so far. I think I need to add some more water to the other side. And uh, I've got plenty more where that came from that's already started. Lettuce, beets, broccoli, and uh, I got some containers on the back deck that aren't growing so hot. They could, well, they, they're growing pretty good, but they could be growing a lot better. I'm going to transplant those in here too to see if I can get some more production in the second half of the growing season. So. Uh, I will be back probably in a week or two to give you an update, let you see the finished product with some actual plants in there. Uh, so this is Dewey in Nashville uh, reminding you that uh, you can plant the seed but God will send the harvest.